I've been looking and I've been reflecting on the state of the church in Africa, the political scene and the marketplace. And I am convinced that we have too many children. Hello, welcome to Damascus TV. Please kindly subscribe. Too many children leading churches, too many children leading the political space, and too many children at the marketplace. What are the signs of a child and the difference between a child and a son? And what does a son mean? A son is one that has come of age. A son is one that is mature. A child is one that pays attention to everything they hear and they feel and they see. Children cry over everything, offended over everything, settles calls with everyone that has hurt and offended them. Always talking about the same thing over and over again. But those who have come of age, those who have come of age have learned to overlook things and to accept that life is what it is. You have to learn to dwell and you have to learn to accommodate the human nature. Somebody said to me, how do you deal with betrayal? How do you deal with betrayal? And I said, betrayal is part of the human nature. And when you realize that betrayal is part of the human nature, you learn to deal with it irrespective of who throws you under the bus, you keep moving on because it is part of the human nature and it will never stop nor cease until the dust settles and the curtains are brought down and water finds its level. Put your hands together. I'd like to share some thoughts with you about coming of age, growing up, maturity in Christ, one of the signs of a child is selfishness. Children are selfish. Children always hold onto things for themselves. Children don't know how to share. They are always holding onto things. But a sign of maturity is one that is selfless. It's one that is willing to share. And is one that understands that what I have is for the benefit of others. Second Corinthians 12, 7, that the manifestations of the gift is given to profit all. Is given to profit all. First Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7, that everything we own and we have is for the benefit of others. That is an understanding that one that is of age and one that is mature has. That I understand that giftings, skills, times, and resources is given to me for the benefit of others that it is never given to me for me children always hold on to things and think it's mine it's mine it's mine but when you come of age you realize ladies and gentlemen that nothing you own and nothing you have is yours for we are students and stewards of everything possessors of nothing nobody has anything in this world the bible said what have you that you do not receive and why then do you act as if you did not receive it you are a possessor of nothing but a steward of everything everything you own whether it's brilliant time resources giftings skills is not yours it's given to you to profit others it is said that no human being is useless who enhances You are only useless when it is about you. You are only useless when your time, your resources, your skills, and your giftings, and everything you have is for your own profit and benefit, and not the profit and the benefit of others. That makes you useless because ignorance of a purpose results into abuse. Today, I challenge you, whoever you are, hearing the sound of my voice, it's time to grow up. And you must look at the sign of the signs of maturity. And one of the signs of maturity is selfishness. Whether you are a leader in the church, at the marketplace, on the political scene, you must understand that the sign of maturity is selflessness. 
And until we have selfless leaders in the church, on the political scene, on the marketplace, Africa and Ghana as a nation, it is selfless people who appreciate and understand the reason for their being that you have come into the kingdom like Mordecai said to Esther for such a time like this to contribute and to carry out and to deliver and perform a duty for the good and for the benefit of others until we have leaders with this kind of understanding that my reason for being what I have what I own skill exposure intelligence brilliance resources that is all given for the good of others, the good of country, the good of posterity, we will never amount to nothing. We need to have that understanding and clarity, irrespective of who we are, where we stand, where we have been, the family we were born into, the kinds of exposure we have, that a day will come when each one of us will give an account of what we did with the time given to us with the resources and the skills and the opportunity we had in life, we will account for it. Nobody, none of us here, is giving anything for our personal benefit. It is always for the benefit of others. It is always for the benefit of country. It is always for the good of others. And until we have this understanding, we will struggle and we will keep moving year after year, wandering in the wilderness like the children of Israel, the journey from Egypt to the land of Canaan was a journey of 11 years, 11 days. And the journey of 11 days became a journey of 40 years because a generation missed it. A generation did not understand that the journey and the purpose for which they were set free from the captivity of Egypt was not about them, but it was about their children and their children's children. When we miss our reason for being, when we miss why we are here, why we are blessed, when we forget that we are strangers in this world, when we forget that we are stewards and not possessors of anything, we make mistakes and the mistakes we make will cost not just us, but our children and our children's children. But I pray for everyone hearing the sound of my voice that you will live a life that is worth living, a life that impacts others, a life that makes a difference in the life of others, a life that enhances posterity, a life that enhances generations yet unborn, that when you leave this world, it shall be said that once upon a time, one like your kind and your type did live, did live, and you made a difference in your world. And you are the reason why the world is a better place than it is today.